Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your big old show, and today we are doing a weekly reading for my Libras. Okay, so we're gonna do a six card pool. Now, remember, this is a general reading as for all Libras, so it might resonate with some, what doesn't resonate, leave it behind. It's not for you, it's no reason for you to carry any baggage that's not for you. That's just gonna make you a bag lady. Okay. We're not going to do any reversals <clears throat> at all. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave comments to let me know after or how you feel about the week ahead. Or come back after midweek or whatever and let me know how this reading was for you. Okay, Libra, for some reason, I am hearing moving forward. Moving forward. You guys are moving forward in this time. If you have it, it's important that you start moving forward. Okay? Some changes are about to be made. Okay, so we're going to be talking about what to focus on, what to ignore, your greatest potentials, obstacles to overcome, blessings to celebrate, and your best advice. All right, so <clears throat> in your first card is what to focus on, which is the Three of Cups. And what I must say, this week, Libra, you must focus on celebrating, enjoying life, okay? It's important that you start celebrating I don't know what you guys could be celebrating. You could be coming together with family. You could be celebrating just your small victories yourself. But it is about celebrating, enjoying life, um, going out and about. For some reason, I am hearing you guys are needing to match up with new energies. Finding individuals who can pour into you something that has never been poured into you before. Surrounding yourself with people who aren't like-minded, looking to grow your mental, looking to grow an experience in life. You definitely are needing to go out and have fun. I'm also hearing dressing up, celebrations. Some of you guys are dressing up and celebrating different things. With the Three of Cups, this is a card of collaboration, a, a card of celebration, a card of communication. Um, it's just like some kind of joy and some kind of happiness. So I definitely see with the way people are dressed up in these cards, I can definitely also see you guys celebrating um, like your, the strengthening of your intuition, abundance and enlightenment coming in, and just growth as well. Some of you guys could be celebrating some finances that's coming in as well, like new job opportunities, new coworkers, going into a new scene. Some of you guys could just be going out and having fun and networking. Some of you guys could just be around your family. Some of you guys could be celebrating a spiritual growth during this week. All right. In the place of two, what to ignore? Anything that seems to be coming at you fast. You have the chariot card in this position, which is a major card. Okay. Um, what I say is to ignore is moving too fast, becoming too tunneled vision on one thing and not adhering to um, other things. I would say try to find balance, Libra, throughout this week. You could be taking on a new task. You could be trying to um you could be trying to add more things to your plate, trying to do a lot. And it's just like you can move forward, but you don't have to move forward too fast. You need to find the balance. Don't just go straight into something, you guys. Don't feel like you just have to go full speed without researching, without the knowledge, without planning, without preparation. I'm also hearing that you guys need to ignore any attacks that become that could be coming in for you guys. It could be coming in fast, and this could be at work. Also,
some of you guys are feeling like something isn't happening enough, happening fast enough. I don't know if it's like uh, money situations changing, um, relationships um, coming together, or if you've done some kind of spell, any kind of magical spell, you might be feeling like it's not working fast enough or something's just not happening fast enough for you guys, Libra. And this week you're feeling like it's not, the week can be feeling like it's dragging on already. I don't know what it is exactly, but for some reason you guys feel like something isn't happening fast enough. And they want you to ignore that. They want you to slow down and stop being so fast paced. Okay. And your third card, you have the six of wands, which is your greatest potential. And for this, it's just, for me, it's leading. And I think that's why they want you to take your time. They don't want you to rush into something. You guys are being groomed to be placed into a position to lead other people and to connect with other people. In this top row, you have the three of cups and the chariot and the six of wands. And that just screams to me that you're about to be connected to people that you're moving forward with, that you're going to have to lead, that you're going to have to guide, or somebody that's leading you and guiding you into how to become prosperous with your ideas, your creativity. They're going to show you ways to take your thoughts and mold them and groom them without having to go through all the extra hassle. This is like a mentor that's coming in. Um, I feel like that's going to lead you into a position of what you can call fame, not like million dollar fame. It could be million dollar fame, but I don't, I don't want to say it's million dollar fame, but they're putting you in a position to be noticed, to be seen. Okay. So for some people, this could be like somebody coming in from work, um, upper management and them recognizing you. Um, for others, it could just be you coming out and being with people and you just slowly, you know, like uh, building these relationships back up or building these relationships with people. And it's just you coming out and being in the front scene. People starting to see you. People starting to enjoy your energy. Okay. Um, it's just like moving forward with your passion. Um, working towards something that's going to put you where you desire to be. Things that you've been working on manifesting, your goals, your dreams are starting to come, are starting to work towards coming to the forefront. So you can see some of those things coming together during this week, okay? <clears throat> Especially if the work has been put in. In your fourth card position, you have obstacles to overcome, which is the three of wands. You guys are very, very unsure. You're unsure of... This card right here, I keep hearing in my head, you're unsure of like moving forward from something with a family member. And I feel like that just might be for one person in particular. I do feel like an obstacle to overcome Libra with this three of wands is that there's small tugboats <laughs> in this large body of water. And it's just like, I feel like you guys could be letting the smallest thing mean so much in a situation. Like small, small details. Either you need to pay attention to small details or I'm feeling like it's small, it's the small things that are just really distracting you in this moment. Let me get some clarity on the three of wands. I'll ask the three of wands here within this week. Okay, you have the nine of cups, which is a card of fulfillment. Okay, 
And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands, which is kind of like chaos, um, energy, uh, bickering arguments. So you could be having something come in, like a small, <laughs> I want to say like a pest, a small pest, a small issue that's coming in. And Divine wants you to stay focused on the bigger picture. Notice that those small rants, those small intermissions, those small attacks that are coming for you are no amount to how big this ocean is. It's two, sm two small tugboats in the big ocean. Those two small tugboats can't block you from where you're trying to go. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They can't block you from passing them up or, you know, there's ways to detour. There's ways to maneuver around these. Don't get so focused on these two, whatever is coming in to try to upset you or whatever is coming in to that, try to distract you. And it's just like somebody's coming and they have a lot of messy energy. They're going to nitpick. They're going to try to attack you. They're going to try to turn people against you. And of course, it's just like stay focused on your happiness. Stay focused on what you want to do. Keep taking your route, okay? Look past them. Look over them. You don't have to worry. Do not let them distract you. Don't allow them to disturb your happiness, your peace. Don't allow these people to bring you to their level. You've changed. You've maneuvered differently. And I just believe your response on these things this week is going to cause the blessings that could, could that could, <clears throat> sorry, I'm about to stutter, that could come your way. You have the world card in the blessings to celebrate position. This is a reward coming in for you, Libra. A reward of change. Um, a reward of newness. I just want to say the world is just like something opening up to you. This is a new path. This is a new gift. <clears throat> For most Libras at this time, I feel like this is a unlocking. The door to the world is unlocking for you because you have passed your test of the divine that has been going on lately. The hardships, the to seeing how you're emotionally holding up, to seeing how you handle things, how you change things, okay? So you're being, what I want to say is rebirth, okay? You're being unclothed. You're given a lot of clarity, okay? So you're going to be celebrating this newness, this newness of you, this newness of wealth, this newness of prosperity, joy, happiness, peace, of love, self-love, self-appreciation. That's what you're about to step into. And the best advice that you have, you have another major arcana, which is the death card. The best advice is to keep walking over things from the past. It's to keep moving past dead situations. Keep following and trusting your intuition. As you see in the back, there is a, a lightened palace that looks like the palace on I have another deck. My Edgar Allan Poe deck. And on that card, the world card has a palace that looks like this that the man is walking to. And it's just like the best advice is that you can move forward. You can forgive these people. Don't go back. It's time to leave these dead weight situations behind. It's time to trust your intuition and just keep moving towards the things that you desire that make you happy. Okay? Move with peace and love.
And that's all I have to say. And Libra, I'm going to pull a card for you. You have the mantis beans, which is enigma, elusive, and sensitive. I'm going to tell you what this card means. Okay. These are overseers. This is movement. This is high vibrations. This is foresight, celebration, and ceremony. Like I said, you guys are going to be celebrating. Like I said, for some of you guys, it could be some spiritual gifts coming in that's helping you lead individuals. Um, like I said, you are with this world card. That's your reward. Some things are unlocking. I honestly feel like you guys could be unlocking your crown chakra in this moment. A lot of you guys are coming out of darkness and you're being enlightened and you're finding your happiness. It's very important that you start celebrating. It is very important that you realize that your dry season is over, Libra, and things are about to start flourishing. Okay? And that's the reading that I have for you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.